Mike McCarthy really has some inter- interesting to say about this, though. Somebody asked. Mike McCarthy didn't just volunteer this information. But it's a football question. Mike was like, F it, I'll answer it. Somebody asked about TJ Bass taking snaps at center. Literally taking snaps at center. Like, literally, because you got it. You snap the ball at center, right? And I don't think Mike McCarthy wanted us to know that because I ain't see that shit nowhere else. But somebody just asked about TJ Bass playing center. Let's hear what Mike McCarthy got to say. The first word gets cut off, but he's saying confidence. Mike, what you got to say? Offense number one, you know, you just, you know, for the first component of it is the snapping. You know, you, you got, it's a, it's a fine motor skill, you know, fine motor skills. You need reps, you know, the 10,000 rep approach, you know, that, that kind of focus uh, is, is what we're looking for because, you know, the, the snap has to be, you know, part of your initial fundamentals and techniques. So, uh, the mental part of it, he'll continue to grow. The guards are trained like the center, so that, you know, I'm not really concerned about the, the mental part of it, but it's really the fine motor skill uh, of, of the cadence and you know, managing the cadence and the, and, the, and the snapping, so getting that down. Hmm. Hmm. Now, chat. when I seen Hunter Lipke, not shit, not Hunter Lipke, y'all got me saying damn Hunter Lipke, shut up. When I see T.J. Bass, I always seen T.J. Bass as a guy on his Oregon film, he was like just left side player. Left tackle, left guard, whatever. And then he comes here and he plays right guard, right? Boom. That's just what he plays. He don't play right tackle. He just play right ass guard. And we all felt like Hunter Lipke took Josh Ball's job. Whether Josh Ball got hurt or not, I think TJ Bass took Josh Ball's job. But something interesting happened, chat. Alec Lindstrom, Brock Hoffman, and Mac Foreign got, got cut. Now, I felt like we knew Hoffman and, and Lindstrom were going to be guys that got cut, but what happened to Foreign Yak? What happened to the guy that the Cowboys looked at Foreign Yak and they, psh, boy, they love Foreign Yak? Foreign Yak is a, is a guy that they feel like can play five positions on the offensive line. What happened to Foreign Yak? Foreign Yak was a guy, well, he playing guard and center. What's going on with Foreign Yak? All of a sudden, Foryak just stopped playing guard. And he was only playing center. I said, like, hmm. And then Foryak gets cut. Semi shocker. I don't know. Foryak gets cut. And all of a sudden, TJ Bass is taking snaps at center. Chat. TJ Bass learned how to play center, got Foryak cut. Because look, it, it, it's one thing to be like your swing guard, but when you're trying to make these teams, like how much value can you bring, right? So instead of being sw- swim, uh, swim, swing guard, you're just swing interior guy now. Shouts out to Matt Fournier. Shouts out to damn TJ Bass. Because now I was asking, bro. I was like, hey, man, if anything happened to TJ Bass, boy, I mean, uh, pardon me, if anything happens to Tyler Biotis, what we going to do? If anything happens to Tyler Biotis, boy, what we going to do? And if Matt Foryak was your swing interior guy, and if Bass, you know, could play right guard and, and left guard, at least right guard and left guard. Let's see if we can save a roster spot right there. Because once upon a time, it was just going to be, all right, cool. We'll have you swing guard, but we'll just have y'all guys compete at backup tackle. I mean, at backup center. Now you get to save a whole roster spot now. You ditch Foryak, and TJ Bass took the job of two people. Damn. And let me tell you something, man. You come out here, you just start putting good games on top of each other. Won't it just happen for you? Won't it just happen for you? And I know, I know it was some characters talking about, man, hey man, TJ Bass. TJ Bass don't really practice good, but he a gamer. I ain't see shit but gaming. Did you hear what I said? I ain't see nothing but good gaming from TJ Bass. Shouts out to everybody that was in my Patreon. We was watching film on it. There was a part to where we was only watching TJ Bass. Same thing when when me and Will still was watching film together. He's probably tuned in at some point. Man, we just watched nothing but TJ Bass. We stopped watching everybody else. Prelude was on the field. Bostic was on the field. We didn't care about that. We just... And we just watched TJ Bass just every play. Play in and play out. Wrestle and handle people. So why not see if he can play center? Hmm. Hmm. Now, chat, I'm not going to make this a poll. 
because Will Steele's not here. I'm not going to add more work to my plate with less help. It's backwards. That ain't hustling smart. But I do want to ask y'all. Giants just released Tyree Phillips. That's interesting. Um, I do want to ask y'all, who do you trust more? TJ Bass or Awesome Richards? I'm going to look at the chat right now. Let's talk for a second. Chat, who do y'all trust more? TJ Bass or Awesome Richards? I'm just asking. Just ask. Just ask. Let's see. Because this is going to be a peculiar conversation when I ask. Bad, bad, okay. Awesome, okay. They just said rookie. That's both. That's like saying yes. Hmm. Oh, this is close. Mm. Bass because of who coached him in college? Mm. This is why I asked, right? I can foresee two reasons why Tyron Smith ain't playing left tackle no more. He either get hurt or Terrence Steele get hurt. Did you hear what I said? Because, well, let's go and Josh Ball hurt. So if Terrence Steele get hurt, we ain't got no right tackles except Tyron Smith or whatever, right? So my question would be, and here's my new question, Chad. Y'all answer this. If anything were to happen to 77, let's just say 77, because I don't want to put in the atmosphere. Let's just say 77 had to move. He just had to move to a different place, right? What does your left side look like? Awesome Richards and Tyler Smith? Or Tyler Smith at left tackle and TJ Bass at left guard? Chat, what y'all think? What y'all think? If Tyron gets hurt, are you bumping left? That, that's what I'm asking, Alex. Now, Alex, I find it funny you being an Eagles fan. This is a very nuanced question for somebody that, that's, that's not a fan of this team. That's a very nuanced question for somebody that's not a fan of this team. Hold on, hold on, time out now, Alex. Wait a minute, time out. Alex, this is very cowboy fan of you. This would require me to know who the Eagles starting left tackle, starting left guard, and backup right guard. That, that I don't know none of them people. I don't know, Alex. That's a very <laughs> boy. Who? That's a very cowboy fan question to you, Alex. I like it. Hey, hey welcome to the family, motherfucker. I'm just, I'm just asking, Alex. <laughs> I don't know none of the backup Eagles, uh, Eagles offensive line. I, I barely think I know all the first ones. Whew. I don't know. You had to answer that, bro. All right, here we go. Bass at left guard. Okay, y'all moving Tyler. Yeah, because y'all feel like Tyler's going to be, yeah. Come on, talk to time. No, 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 no. Guard off bass is crazy. 77 had to move. Yeah, he just had to move. Yeah, 77. Yeah, just Ty- Tyron had to go to Delaware for a week. We're like, what are we going to do? <laughs> Mayada Dickerson and Jergens. I ain't asked for that information. <laughs> I don't want to know. I don't want to know y'all backup players. <laughs> Come out y'all be. Come out y'all be. Alex, I know the uh, commanders because of Louis T. I bet you don't know they back up guards, motherfucker. <laughs> but whatever. You probably do. I don't know, man. I think it's an interesting conversation. I think uh, I think Awesome Richard showed me enough to to let me have faith in him. I think Awesome is sloppy versus everybody, but he wins. TJ Bass, I know he could smoke the shit out of second and third team guys, but I just didn't get a chance to see us uh to see TJ versus first team guy. That's why I think um like I hated that we wasted so many so much time with Josh Ball, right? If jo- I knew Josh Ball was was gonna give us bad preseason film because that's what he gave us last year. If we're truly evaluating TJ Bass, I would have loved to have seen TJ Bass versus a first team defensive line. That I haven't seen yet, you know? So if it's up to me, I'm putting awesome at if if Tyron Smith had to move to uh had to just go to Maryland for a little bit just just for one week he had to go to Maryland just 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 anywhere else but but Cowboys right I'm putting awesome riches at left tackle and I'm keeping my interior strong with Tyler Smith I think it's a fair question though anyway let's get into the phones see what y'all talking about what time is it? oh man three forty five shit we can wrap this thing up at four fifteen I cool uh. <laughs> Pardon me. Let's get into the phone, see what y'all are saying. So let's just. Hey. 